our kids and growing up. Hello, we are Hello. live. <laughs> is there anybody else? This is take two. This is the day of technology oopses. I tried to go live earlier and it flopped. Yep. Like, it is what it is. This is New Zealand, you guys. The internet's not always 100%. And so we are doing a take two. We're on an island. That's what happens. <laughs> Usually it's good, but I think that honestly, so welcome. If you're not here, that's fine. You can watch this later. We just watched the previous one and it was cut off too pixelated minutes. and it cut off. And so you're not getting what you need. So we're redoing it. So we're going to now double the amount of eggnog. So yay. Okay, good. You can see us. Yay. Okay. So if you don't know us already, who are you? I'm just going to introduce ourselves because they probably are like, they know who's who this I am. <laughs> They're on my channel. Well, what this... if they just stomp onto you? Oh, that's true. That's true because they could. Because you're making yeah, eggnog true. and they'd be like, how do okay. I make eggnog? And your video comes up. Okay. Well, look at, look at me. <gasps> look at it. Oh, can you see okay? I'm sorry. I'm a little bit like, I just want to make sure that's working before we keep going. Hello. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Give us a thumbs up if you can see us and if we're not pixelated and, and if we're good to hear go. us. Yes. So, um, I'm Kiwi Americans. We're, we're a family of six. I have moved to New Zealand and been here for six years. And Chantel from Growing Up Without Borders has joined us as well. We are in Queenstown. We're actually at the house that she's staying at. Yes. And so picked her up yesterday at the airport. So fun. It was and so it's nice. Horrible weather in Wellington. So happy to be here. Yes. So yeah, so glad that it's better. We're on beautiful Lake Hayes. If you didn't know where that is, it's like 10 minutes from New Zealand, or from New Zealand, from Queenstown, yeah, in the most so beautiful amazing. area. Yes. Hi from France. Woo! Ooh, Thanks that's... for joining. Do you have eggnog in France? Because this video is all about how to make eggnog yeah. from scratch. Homemade. Yeah. Because if you're not aware, you cannot buy it in the grocery store in New Zealand, and it's very frustrating. Americans, Canadians, we love eggnog. We love eggnog lattes. We love eggnog at Christmas. We love eggnog if you want alcohol in it. All very good. Yes. So, yeah. So, this is a how to cook how eggnog. to make it because you can't buy it in the store here. So, no. I've had to make it myself. And there's lots of different ways to make it. This is a very simple recipe. I really like it. It tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. You will thank me. I want you all to try it and let me know how you like it. Send me pic pictures of you making it or let me know just if you like it. If you don't like it, yes. you know, you can keep it to yourself. So cool. Okay, what do you need? You need eggs? Okay, so we need eggs. So we need six egg yolks. Six egg yolks. Now, people freak out about eggnog because it is, you know, they worry about the raw egg of it. But this is a cooked version. Yeah. So, um, but if you are concerned, if you use pasteurized eggs, uh, that would be better. So yeah. So this is a take two. So of separate, our egg your, so separate the eggs. So we need six of those. We six, have six. Yeah. Okay. And then we need two cups of milk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, for the eggs, we just need the sugar. Okay. Sugar. Yeah. yeah. So then what we're going to do is we're going to mix the eggs and add the sugar. But for this recipe, it's super simple. All you need is milk, yeah. egg yolks, sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove, and heavy cream. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. And it's, you're welcome. It's gonna be so good. All right. Um, okay, Jelly B is not a fan of eggnog. Hmm. Well, you're have you out. tried? You haven't tried mine yet. Okay. So if you notice that the egg yolks in New Zealand are quite orange, so you want to beat them so they start to get a light yellow. Sorry, it's really loud. <laughs> it's fine. Going away from the mic. So then we're gonna add three fourths a cup of sugar slowly to the eggs and you just beat it in. And then it'll come this beautiful fluffy, you want it to be fluffy and a really light yellow. So here we can start pouring that in, it should be fine. Yeah. So just keep going and I'll just slowly pour it in. Teamwork makes a dream work. Okay, nice and fluffy. There we go. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks good. Ooh, good. Guys, it's beautiful. You're going to love this. That's what it looks like there. So nice and fluffy. So beautiful. Okay. Okay. So now. what we're going to do is, so the next thing that you do, so you put that to the side. The next thing that you do is you're going to heat up two cups of milk. Yep. And we've already done that, I believe. Yep. We've already done that. Okay. Yep. You have two cups of milk with the spices. So cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. The recipe that I will put in the description 
is um, does not include nutmeg, but okay, just FYI, it's still quite hot. Oh, it's quite hot. You, it, you need to let it cool a tiny little bit because you don't want it to cook your eggs. Right? Cook the eggs. No cooking the eggs. Now, if your milk curdles, if you if you boil it, if it gets too hot. It's fine. You can just put it through a strainer and take that off. Like, no reason to throw it out. Okay. Also, a lot of people don't like to have egg whites go to waste. So you can just make some pavlova. Or, also, there's lots of recipes for eggnog where you can beat up the egg whites and add it, and it just makes a thicker eggnog. So you can certainly do that as well. So, um, okay. It's still kind of hot. Do you want yeah. to wait a minute? Yeah, we'll wait a minute. Okay. While we're waiting a minute, it's commercial time. <laughs> Ooh, commercial break while we let the milk cool. This is a Spress Herald presentation from Growing Up Without Borders. <laughs> so I'm a guest on Tara's show, but we are a traveling family and we came to New Zealand in March 2020. And we're still here, if you can imagine. And um, since we travel around the world, we make really cool videos on YouTube, but we this year came out with a calendar. So it's the Growing Up Without Borders 2022 calendar, which I'm promoting as a commercial on her channel. But Go ahead and check it out under Growing Up Without Borders forward slash calendar because it's really cool and the photography in here is amazing. Just to give you a sneak preview, this is a place in Switzerland above Montreux on the French speaking area and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, it's amazing. The pictures in this calendar are wow. Yeah, I think so too. So, it's very cool. They're like a family of five that have literally been to 100 countries. Yeah, and we so, picked yeah. our favorite places that are dear to our heart that kind of like speak to us to share with you guys. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to record a video today. Yeah, today. we're going to record uh, a yes. video on Christmases around the world yes, and how Christmas. they're different because in every country, of course, it's celebrated differently. And yeah, we were talking yeah. about it and the thing she was telling me, I was like, what? You know, because they've had such extensive travel. I've traveled, but not nearly as much as she has. And so she, and she's been in a lot of different countries at Christmas. Yeah. Now, of course, it's different to experience tradition as a visitor, mm -hmm. as opposed to um, you know somebody that lives there, but it's at least fun to talk about, so. Exactly, I'm gonna read what you guys are saying. I love that we have been met up, that is so cool. I know, you wanna know how it happened too. A little story is, um, so last fall, um, and our videos are coming out about that soon. So we're gonna be posting Christmas last year or this year, which is really bizarre. But she messaged us and she's like, hey, uh, where are we? Where are you? Whatever. And we were talking on Instagram. Yes, we talked on Instagram. Yeah. That's right. And then we were in like the Rotorua area around Christmas. And she's like, I'm going to be up there for New Year's. We should meet up. Oh, that'd be awesome. So we met up on Lake Terrawera. We did New on Year's New together. Year's Eve. And we that was rocked like, it. New Year's Eve. It was our first encounter. Yeah, it was fun. It was amazing. And it was at their friend's batch. A batch yeah. for those really of you that like know. Like a cottage. Like they yeah. like us. Yeah. And there was like how many people, like how many a lot. kids? A lot of kids. We have a big dance party. We stay up all night. We jump off the pier at, at midnight. midnight and it's oh, all amazing. recorded and it was very fun. So, yeah. yeah. So we've been best buddies since. Yeah. It's been, been really cool. Time. We've been hanging out. We see each other. <laughs> it's fun. She's Wellington. like, yeah, she's lived in the yeah. States a lot. Yeah. She's lived in Canada, you know, Switzerland. Yeah. And so it's nice. It's fun. And our yeah. kids are like all similar ages. So yes. they all get along. So it's great. great. Yes. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. Now, okay. Time to mix in. All right, so we're gonna temper the eggs. So what that means is you add a little bit of the milk at a time and keep mixing it here. Do you want me to mix? Yeah, maybe you can remove the measure. Whatever, So yeah, you just, I don't know, just add a spoonful, keep mixing it. Just go a little bit little, so it doesn't, it's not too hot. Yeah, so it's not too hot. Woo, here we go. This is like the easiest recipe. Um, there's just no excuses for this. I'm not making this. It's cooled down nicely. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so then, no, 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 you put this into there. Yeah, so you move the eggs then into the pot. And we're going to continue to cook this on medium heat for a little bit longer um, until it thickens a bit. And we're going to add a cup of cream. Do we have that? I can get that. We don't need that. This is a cup of cream, guys. Fresh cream, one cup. Here we go. This is, well, this is three fourths a cup. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. It's always fun, like, because we're not obviously in our own home, so we're in someone else's home, and it's always fun using their appliances and their kitchen. You know, it's so much more fun to be in someone else's kitchen, <laughs> and it's just doubly more fun to clean up in someone else's kitchen. I don't know why that is. Like, it's torture in your own kitchen, but someone else's it's fun it's all new stuff especially this place is nice stuff so yeah you add the one cup of cream 
Yep. And then we're going to cook it on medium heat for a little bit longer. And just when you start to feel it thicken, you just want to take it off the heat. And then you're done. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. So then let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. You don't want to drink hot eggnog, okay? You want it to be cold. So overnight is great. Um, yeah, I would suggest chilling it at least overnight. Yeah. And then you're good to go. Then you're good to go. Then once it's done, you put it in a bowl in the fridge. Yep. I put it in like a pitcher, whatever you have. Again, you can add alcohol. You can add alcohol at this point if you would like. And would it, you? yeah, no, when it's just cooling. Okay. Because what it does is it will preserve it longer. Ooh. So it can last longer in the in the refrigerator. Um, otherwise, you know, it'll just be a couple of days. But honestly, it won't last. So the key is when you're ready to serve it, you're gonna put it in like a clear glass. And what's so cool about eggnog is it will be like this beautiful light yellow at the bottom with some like a cream at the top. Like a, I don't know, kind of like a foam when you do like a like a, a cappuccino, and then you put whipped cream and nutmeg. You put nutmeg, cinnamon. I mean, you can put cinnamon, but I recommend nutmeg. Mm. Just for, beautiful, and then you can hand it out for Christmas. Yum. So yeah, put it in your coffee in the morning. Have it serve it to your guests. If you're in New Zealand, bring it somewhere and have people try it. And oh, they're gonna fun. love it. They're gonna love it. They're gonna absolutely love it. It's, yeah. it's, I think that it doesn't, it's not great because of the name. Like, I think the name people are like, I'm not drinking eggs. <laughs> you know, like I, I've, I've had trouble personally getting people to try it because they don't want to, eggnog doesn't sound very appetizing. So maybe we need to create our own name for it, Chantel. Well, it is what it is. I think we should call it Christmas Deliciousness. Okay, so when it's really Christmas hot, present. When it's really hot, yeah, really hot. Yeah, yeah. When it just when it starts to thicken. Second, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Just thicken. It's almost like custard in a cup, but more delicious because it's homemade. Well, I mean, homemade custard is really good. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just reading some. What does eggnog taste like? Okay, great question. Maybe we should describe it. I it is Christmas heaven, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's creamy. It's like a creamy, sweet, with the best spices, Christmas spices. Okay, cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon. What's better than that? If you don't like one of those, don't have to put it in. And then, yeah, it's so good. It's hard to drink slowly. I recently had it with rum. I don't normally have it with alcohol. Guys, it was... I don't know. It's like the best drink ever. So like my tradition is when we're going to decorate the Christmas tree, we have eggnog and really nobody in my family likes it except for my teenage son. So it's me and him. Really? And I like that, he does, that nobody likes it because then it's more for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, um, yeah. So, and you can make it really pretty. Like you can, you could do like you know, take some sugar and make it green and red and put it on the rim and then add the eggnog and you can make it really amazing. Ooh, Reno, Nevada. We've got some interesting places joining us. Kazakhstan. Wow. Um, Kazakhstan. Ooh, yes, the ooh. custard slices in New Zealand mm, are one of my favorites. So if you like those, you are going to like eggnog, I promise. Mm. You're going to want to try it. So. Eggnog does not last in our house. Like, no. It lasts literally like one serving and everyone's like, like well, good thing we made double because mm -hmm. of our first live didn't go over well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you have drunk all the rum. No, I haven't. We don't have rum here in the house. So no, unfortunately, we're going to have to have a virgin. Mm -hmm. Y'all. No, 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 it's fine. It's delicious. You don't need alcohol. It's one of those things. Alcohol doesn't make it better. So make sure you guys let us know, though, if you tried it, what, like, how it worked out for yeah. you. Post pictures on my Instagram. Just, you know, check it There's out. There's a new business idea. Know. You can start selling eggnog. You know how many people have told me that this week? Because mm -hmm. I did a TikTok on it. So many people were like, what is eggnog? And so then I had to make it and show them. Um, and so, yeah, they're like, you should bottle this. Ooh, it's looking really good. I let ooh, ooh, let's see it. Let's see it. This is version two. I let it thicken a little bit more than my version one that we made. This one's actually quite thick, so that's perfect. You can see it's steaming up a little bit. Oh, that's so perfect. That's, that's the just right like smell. that's just right. So yeah, it smells like heaven. Like I don't really know how to describe it. They want us to describe the taste, but I don't know. It's well, it tastes a little really good. It's just just try. 
Yeah, it was really easy. Hey, in Germany, felt... do you do you drink eggnog in Germany? I don't oh, think so. Do you? Cool. Get the... Curious minds want to know. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's eggnog for you. Look at that. Fifteen minutes, and you can have eggnog, and that's also with me doing a lot of talking. So. Yeah. Super easy, super simple. And of course, here in America, Canada, just go to the grocery store and buy right. it. But it's also really good in baking. If you're a baker, if you want to make an like eggnog cake or eggnog custard or eggnog mm -hmm. everything, you know, you can just Google that. Just go a little crazy with it. But right. Greg's, Greg's mom was a baker. That's so cool. She must have made some amazing things. No, I'm just dreaming of like Christmas cookies and all that. So we're also going to make a video today about... Christmases around the world and what it's like because um, obviously Chantel has traveled to 100 countries and have spent Christmases in a lot of different places. Yeah, our kids have been like what they say. They say like I've been chinsed out of Christmas so many mm -hmm. times. So this year though, we're actually going to stay at a house near Rotorua and we're going to like decorate it up because they have all these decorations. So Oh, nice. Yeah, it's going to be like That'll oh, be really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for we arrive the 23rd and Christmas, as you know, is the 24th. Like we celebrate the 24th. Yeah, we do so, too. The Christmas Eve. Yeah, so yeah. we have to quickly decorate and yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to share this uh, in a video. We're going to go record it right now and yep. then uh, Tara's going to have it live on her channel. So yeah, cool. What it's like to have Christmas around the world. So it's interesting. Obviously, it's different as a traveler than someone that lives there. Mm. But yeah. So definitely try the eggnog. Let us know how you like it. And thank you for joining us today. And we, we love you guys. We hope you have a wonderful holiday, Christmas, New Year's. Take a break. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy your families. We'll see you. Nice to see y'all.